I'm Alan Boo Pergament, uh, an Atlantic City historian, 77 years old. Uh, in the past, I've worked uh, for almost 50 years with youth programs, basketball programs. Well, initially, uh, I, my focus was on basketball programs, but uh, I was in a restaurant in Ventnor, owned by Champ Hoffman, and he had pictures of old Atlantic City on the wall, and I had seen them, and they sort of rekindled my old memories, which had been laying dormant for years and years. And I asked if I could borrow them. And he gave me a whole book of pictures. From that, that was a basis for wanting to switch over from working with basketball to becoming a collector and a historian. Uh, the first postcard in Atlantic City's history was uh, made by Carl Volker, a local printer and newspaper publisher and a well-known figure. His wife and daughter were in Germany and saw it. Postcards came back and told him he was a printer. They suggested doing this. And so he published in 1895 the first postcard in Atlantic City's history. I was uh, looking on eBay, uh, as I usually do once a day, and uh, came across this deed and I'm sure that I was able to get it for a significantly low price because uh, of knowing more about it than most of the viewers. It's a deed for a property that was owned by uh, John Leeds, the grandson of Jeremiah Leeds, the first settler on Upsecon Island. And he's deeding the property to Daniel Morris. And Daniel Morris is who the famous Morris guards on New York Avenue, military social group of Atlantic City from the 1800s, was named after. What does it take to be an Atlantic City historian, or any historian for that matter? In my estimation, primarily a person should have a passion for whatever it is he's interested in, whether it's a city, a community, whether it's a certain artifacts, uh, certain uh, things that whatever his focus is, he should have a passion for it and have a deep interest and be willing to research it to the depth and not accept even what earlier historians might have said. He's got to try to prove it uh, within a shadow of doubt, the best that he's able to, to establish what is the real facts.